Hey everybody! Uh, this is the Captain Quail vlogcast for Captain Quail number 59. I am Philip. I am here with Allison. Hey! And we are going to uh, talk about Captain Quail, and we're going to talk about a little bit about what went into making this comic, and a lot about what goes into making the comic as a whole. And we're going to do this by answering some questions from our fans. Um, and probably the number one question that we get is why quails? Like, why is it Captain Quail? And Allison, feel free to chime in here, but the way I remember it is you and I were just kind of... We, we knew we wanted to do a webcomic. I think we wanted to do a webcomic about space. I actually don't remember how quails entered the picture. Really? You don't remember? I can't believe that. So, um, I think most of it stems from... So you remember the, the, the Xeno time game we were working on? And okay. So... You know, we've we've attempted to do two games before this webcomic project, which we should totally talk about in some later cast, but that is not for this time. Yep. And um, so Phil did all the programming and I did all the art, uh, you know, logical. <laughs> which, which is especially ironic considering that, like, we're actually both software engineers, but for this, for like all of our creative endeavors, um, you know, I've ended up doing like writing and software work, and Allison has just done you know, amazing art. Um, but it, it's interesting that that's not Allison's full time career. Maybe it will be someday, but that's again a different episode. We'll, we'll come Di back to that. Different episode. Anyways, so um, for Xeno Time, I needed to make a little character sprite to walk across the map. And I just, I love quails. I love the way they move. And I made a little walking California quail. And he did, you know, a, a walk from, you know, front back left right and so he that was our little little dude and um we also ended up making a california quail the um logo slash mascot right. of yep. our little game studio which you know <laughs> you can't see her doing this but she's doing air quotes because it was definitely an air quote game studio um two kind of prototypes does not a game studio make unfortunately sadly no um but anyways, that's uh, that's kind of where the whole quail thing got started, and um, and then yeah, we were just bouncing ideas around like you know we really want to do a web comic, and uh, so you know I was like yeah quails, and I don't know how we got to quails in space, but somehow. So, I don't remember exactly how we made the leap. Um, another question we get is why Star Trek, and it's not so much of a, a, a question as like people being yeah I love Star Trek. And I think that was because at the time I was trying to re-watch the, well, not re-watch, like watch all the way through the entire uh, Next Generation series of Star Trek, which I promise I, f I will finish one day. I still haven't done it yet. Um, I've seen bits and pieces of the original series, but that one just never resonated as well with me as Next Generation. And I was watching Next Generation, and I, I like, I think I had this idea, like we had this idea that, you know, the... Quails are kind of like, you know, puffed chest in there. Like, the way they walk is very, like, dur -dur 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 -dur. and um, just this idea of a, a quail Captain Kirk popped in my head, and I'd been watching, we'd, we'd both kind of been watching Star Trek Next Generation, and so we came up with the idea of quails in space, and things kind of took off from there. Um, although the very first comic that we ended up doing for Captain Quail had kind of very little to do with Star Trek, only featured quails nominally, and related to, um, uh, I'll let you describe it better, because it, it, like, I think that one was mostly your idea. Yeah, so I guess our, our original, original idea was to do, you know, something relating to, like, the San Francisco tech scene, which we are both really involved in. Um, I had just started my new job, and, uh, was really struck by the uh, idiosyncrasies of being in a startup and um, just like it was an observation I had made that you know oh my goodness like you know people would complain about free food what uh, so it was kind of a yeah that's where that came from and I'm really glad we sort of moved away from that into uh, um, doing more story driven things but I, I am still kind I am still fond of like you know, little joke panels and such, or jokes, comic strips and such. And there's also, like, um, so, because the script, like, actually writing the script and coming up with the inspiration, we do a lot of brainstorming together, but a lot of it comes down to, like, me writing a script and then passing it off and then Allison doing far better art 
than I can do. Um, because they say to write what you know, I end up writing things about the Bay Area and about San Francisco. So, like, if you've been reading the comic regularly, you'll notice the San Francisco Zoo and the Palace of Fine Arts and all these locations that, you know, we can draw from because we can we can find them on Google Maps, but we can also go there. Like, we, we live in the Bay Area and it's really easy to go to these places. Um, the next question that kind of relates to the other two is the, the quail ship egg surprise and where did that come from? Uh, originally, I think... Like, it was just a joke on Enterprise, right? Yes, yes, it was the, it was a pun on, uh, yeah, the, the most bird-like pun, you know, egg, egg surprise. I just was way too pleased with that pun, and I was like, this has to be the, the title of the ship, or the name of the ship, excuse me. And I, I, I'm not certain I was sold on it right at the beginning, but it, it tickles my fancy for a number of reasons, and one of them is, uh, if you, if anybody listening has read listening slash watching, I guess, has read Ian Banks' uh, Culture series. All of the ships in the culture have these funny little names like Road Not Traveled and Just drop, uh, just Passing By and Thought I'd Drop In. Like these really crazy names developed by these AIs who have all these little in-jokes. And I love the idea of the egg surprise actually being some sort of, you know, high-level designed in-joke that we don't know what the answer to that joke is going to be yet. Uh, we're still We're still kind of working on it. Or, you know, you could call it open to interpretation. That's always a fun one. That one works, too. Um, real quickly, because it's something that Allison has to do a lot, uh, do you want to talk about your progress for making rocks now that we're kind of, like, into the rock segment and if you have any <laughs> techniques there? Uh, yeah, well, so it basically boils down to make some scribbles, make some more scribbles, and then uh, add some outlines to those scribbles to make them look rock-like. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that didn't exactly go as long as I was hoping it would, so I'm going to move on to the next question from our audience. No, it's okay. Um, which is, can you talk a little bit about the, the birds that featured in the series? Like, we're, we're using California quails, and when we can, we try to stick to local birds, but obviously for this story arc... Uh, you don't see a lot of local parakeets and parrots. Uh, so, yeah, the, the bird species are chosen with a very specific theme in mind. So kind of like the mm, human equivalent are all uh, ground-dwelling birds of the same uh, genus. So we've got chickens, which are like, and um, quails. Uh, and then... For this uh, story arc, I wanted to go with a sort of more alien group of birds. So we are, they're all parrots. Um, so cockatiels and uh, cockatoos. Uh, I mean, honestly, part of it is because I just love those birds. But uh, <laughs> I do like having a cohesive theme to which bird species are chosen. And I'm very particular about what ones make it into the comic. And they need to have, they need to fit within the... Um, the general theme of what groups of birds represent what sort of population. Can you talk a little bit about the, if there are, are there specific species behind birds like, you know, sanguine gray and combs, like, do you know what yes. species those are? Absolutely. They are all based off of real life earth bird species. Um, sanguine gray is a galah, uh, <laughs> because galahs are great. Um, part of it, you know, is because they're just, I don't know. There's something about a pink bird that just tickles my fancy a lot, and they're such full of personality, and I really, really like them. Um, and uh, uh, the the marines, their species are, you know, not as deliberately chosen. Just I was going with, you know, things in the cockatoo family. Um, so obviously, the yellow one is a cockatiel, a common gray coloration. You know, they make you, you might see them as pets, or but they're all oh all these, all the cockatoo like birds are native to Australia, um, and the uh, the white one is a, shoot, um, uh, an umbrella cockatoo. And I was just, there's a lot of different white cockatoos, so I was just trying to remember which one I was using. And what's comb? Would you know the species of combs? Yes, combs. Uh, I chose a very specific chicken breed, but I don't remember off the top of my head what it was. I know that part of the, re like, in case people didn't get this pun, his name is Combs because it's a pun off of 
bones from Star Trek and chickens have combs. I feel like by describing that, um, I've probably ruined the pun for everybody watching. But hey, there's probably not that many people watching right now anyway. So we're going to move on um, and talk real briefly uh, because we're, we're closely wrapping up here. Very soon you're going to be able to see the finished comic. And of course you can see the finished comic in all its glory at CaptainQuail.com. Uh, but we also would love to have more questions from people who are watching this, from people who are reading it, and we reading it wow uh who and we would love to just hear from you uh, if you follow us on twitter at quail comics or you can send an email to captain quail at inkpebble.com we will try to answer your questions and we're also going to be attending some uh conventions in the upcoming months we're going to be at kraken con in oakland on april 6th i believe and then at big wow comic fest in San Jose sometime in May. Do you remember the date? Nope. That's what calendars are for. Yeah, uh, but definitely stay tuned, um, and that will cover it for this episode. Captain Quail 59, thanks for watching the vlogcast, and we will see you soon, hopefully.